ng mas lalaki pa sa laban na to. One final battle tonight. Me against Rodriguez, drops it off to Palo! Press the basket! I and I lost the basket for Clarito right there. Acrobatic shot, wala! Robles, Clarito gets it back! I and I looking for a teammate. They go to Clarito. Clarito will attack! And he gets it to go! Brother Clarito! Give San Juan the lead! Game over! The San Juan Knights fight back from the dead! The Knights are your MPPL National Champions! The new season of the Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League opens Wednesday, June 12. And a total of 31 teams will see action this season as they buy for the inaugural MPBL Lakan Cup. Now joining us to talk about the upcoming MPBL season, let's bring in Martin Javier. And uh, Martin, you're going to tell us your sa palagay mo yung apat, no? four preseason title favorites. Who are these teams? Ako para sa akin, Tito Mix, um, I'll go with the strongest teams nung huling conference because they made certain moves in the off-season that nag talaga sila, they improved their lineups. I'm gonna start with the Bataan Risers. Bataan Risers, they were system-based last season, but going into this season, itong Lakan Cup, they added more star power. And I'm talking about star power here. Chito Jaime from uh, Muntinlupa, very reliable big man, veteran big man. Dinagdag nila, meron ka pang Santi Santillan na dinagdag nila, ipapasok nila ngayon. Tapos, idadagdag mo pa yung Leona Horda, who's coming off a good stint in Davao Occidental. Tapos, Fonso Gotladera, a good prospect na big man. Tapos, nandyan pa, dadagdag mo pa yung Jai Reyes. Jai na We all know Jai can, can take over a ball game and he's proven in the MPBL in his brief stint so far na kaya niya pa rin niyang pumuntos, kaya pa rin niyang kunin yung mga numero niya. And he's part of the score. And he's also, ayan, <laughs> oh, Jai no Mike, hello Jai, ayan. Susabog pa rin to si Jai para sa bataan. And last but not least, we have Al Alvin Pasaol. Uh, the human, he checked, as you you called him, ayan. Nandito siya sa bataan, Riser. So, this is a loaded team, uh, Tito makes, and you couple it with a good system, malaki yung chance nila going into the season. Right, next time a contender. Para sa akin, syempre, you don't, you, you, you don't wanna underestimate the champions. San Juan Knights will still be there. Kompleto pa rin yung kanilang core. I think last year, yung nakita natin sa MPBL, the teams that have, you know, defined stars in their team, yun talaga yung nag-prevail. At yun yung maganda dito sa San Juan, they were able to retain uh, their key pieces. You got Larry Rodriguez, John Wilson, and Mac Macardona still with the team. Adding pieces also, like Andoy Estrella, who did very well with the QC Capitals. He was you know, he had a couple of triple doubles all throughout the season. Tsaka maganda rin yung relasyon niya kay Coach Randy Alcantara. He is a former coach din sa Mapua Cardinals. Kinagdag din nila key big man si Jesse Saitanan. So I think for, for San Juan Knights, them being intact and then being locked in, so nandiyan yung mindset nila. Feeling ko kaya pa rin nila mag-repeat as champions. Next, we have the runner-up of last season, the Davo Occidental Tigers. Now, they lost Leona Horda, which is a, a key piece, but they added some firepower. Point guard dati ng uh, Bataan Risers, si Ivan Ludovice, na star player before, kinuha siya ng Bataan. So, Ivan Ludovice is gonna be key here for Davo Occidental. Tutulungan niya si Nab. Bonbon Custodio. At ang uh, isa mga frontrunner last year na MVP si Marky. Adding to that also is Chester Soldua, who is a very crafty big man among the Galing Lito sa Muntin Lupa Cagers. And with the system they got here, tsaka yung, kasi yung mindset, iba yung nilagay na mindset. Kasi itong Davo Occidental, despite starting out late last year, late na nakabuo ng team, they were able to figure things out and get all the way to the final. So I think Davo has a very good chance of going back at the very least to the finals. At yung huli ko, the Manila Stars. Ito. Uh, Manila Stars, they... They had uh, young prospects last year in Aris Junisio and Chris Bitoon. But this year, they're getting even younger. Kasi dinagdag nila uh, Joe Lugo, Mark Dyke, meron ka pang Marvin Lee na dinagdag. Tapos, meron ka pang veteran leadership na idadagdag din dito. Dahil dadagdag mo Ronnie Matias, 
Ronnie Matias, we all know his play. And his, yung, yung type ng paglalaro niya para sa akin, perfect yan sa MPBL, yung rebound, hustle play. Oh, meron siyang batas ni Matias. Ayun, batas ni Matias. Yan, magagamit niya yan dyan. Tapos meron ka pang isa pang scorer na dadagdag in Carlo Lastimosa. And you couple that with the experience na ibibigay ng bago nilang head coach na si Coach Ariel Van Guardia, who is a champion coach with the West Sports Malaysia Dragons in the ABL. So I think Manila Stars, they have a very good chance aside from, you know, having having more uh, youth factor or firepower here uh, mas makakasabay sila mas makikipagtakbuhan sila sa mga kupunan dito alright and the Lacan Cup starts June 12 June 12 that's Wednesday All right, 31 teams <laughs> gunning for uh, the championship thank you very much uh, Martin for thank helping you so us much. out thank you so much for having me this has been The Score I'm Nico Alili you can also watch The Score on the I Want app for free and we leave you now with our features on the Pasig and uh, Balanga Chooks to Go final practice and the homecoming of boxing champion Jerwin Angkahas. We'll see you all again tomorrow. Philippine-based squads fell early in their campaign at 2019 FIBA 3 on 3 Moscow Tinkoff Challenger, a tournament that has two tickets at stake for level 10 tournament prog masters. First, the Pasig Chooks to Go team, led by world number 89 player Joshua Munzon, failed to advance in the competition as they were defeated by world number 3 Latvian club Riga Ghetto and Belgium's Antwerp. They finished their campaign with an 0-2 win-loss record. Meanwhile, Balanga Chooks, led by UAP standout Alvin Pasaol, had to bow their heads to Russian squad Moscow in Anomo, 14-21. Balanga just did not have luck on their side as only one team advanced in the tournament proper. Joining the competition was supposed to bolster the Philippines' hopes of joining an Olympic qualifying tournament in 3-on-3. Three three. And still, the IBF Junior Bantamoy Champion of the World, Jerwin Pretty Boy. World Junior Bantamweight Champion Jermaine Angkahas gets a promotion from the Philippine Navy following his successful title defense against Japanese challenger Ryuichi Funai. <laughs> After a hero's welcome, the Philippine Navy promoted Angkahas from Chief Petty Officer to Master Chief Petty Officer in the Naval Reserves. Before his title defense, Angkahas trained and had a special camp in Ternate Cavite with the Philippine Navy. The Davo del Sur native defeated his Japanese opponent in the seventh round via TKO in Stockton, California. For me, it was a great help to us in the training that we did at Marines. Because first of all, we didn't have to go out there. We didn't have to go out there in the Marine base. Then the support of the Marines was there. Then... Yung pag-inspire po talaga ako sa mga nagtitraining doon. Kasi sobrang uh, disiplinado nila. Uh, parang na, ano, na kailangan, mo talaga, kailangan talaga ng isang asa ng boxer. Disiplina talaga. Angka has also received the Jersey Joe Walcott Award. The highest award given by the International Boxing Federation.